In today's tutorial, we will discuss electrophilic and nucleophilic reaction centers. These are very important because most of the bond forming reactions in organic chemistry are based on the interaction of an electrophilic and a nucleophilic reaction center. An electrophilic reaction center is uh, basically a Lewis acid, an electron pair acceptor, while a nucleophilic reaction center is a Lewis base, an electron pair donator per definition. Please don't confuse electrophilicity and electronegativity. For instance, as you know, fluorine is the most electronegative atom. And we have three of those fluorine atoms with, the, with these CF3 group here in this molecule. Actually, it is an ingredient of uh, the uh, anti-corona uh, drug Paxlovid. So the most electrophilic atoms within these molecules are those fluorides. And we have here a distinct negative partial charge because the carbon fluoride bonds are very polarized and therefore we have then a partially positive polarized carbon here. Such a carbon could be or should be um, an electrophilic reaction center. However, in the special case of um, fluoride substituted alkanes, it has a very low reactivity since the carbon fluoride bond is very, very stable. Perfluoro alkanes are known to be um, very stable and not reactive at all. You know, the discussion about uh, uh, Teflon and partial structures of Teflon. So these are very persistent molecules in nature. And in future, I think we will try to avoid uh, to avoid those uh, deliberating uh, into in our environment. So where else do we have electrophilic centers? Well, a delta plus can be attributed to the carbonyl carbons. In this molecule, we have quite a few of those. And of course, also to this nitrile carbon. Where else do we have electrophilic centers? Well, those acidic hydrogens are delta plus. The hydrogens at the carboxylic acid amides. On the other hand, where do we have nucleophilic centers? Nucleophilic centers should have free electron pairs. Of course, the fluorides have free electron pairs. But as the fluoride is so electronegative, it does not want to share its free electron pairs. Therefore, it is not very nucleophilic. Higher nucleophilicity do exhibit the oxygens of those carboxylic amides, delta minus here. There, 
there and there. And of course, also free electron pairs at the nitrogens, delta minus here, here, also at the nitrile group, and finally here. So that means at an carboxylic amide moiety, we have two nucleophilic centers and two electrophilic centers. And of course, then there is the question of selectivity. So let us draw the structure of a carboxylic acid amide. And first think about where would it preferentially react as an electrophile. So that means you would have a test nucleophile just any molecule with a um, free electron pair. And usually an equilibrium reaction would occur. Please keep in mind, nucleophiles are always basic at the same time. Well, it is a Lewis base and they can deprotonate acidic compounds. In this case, this would lead to this carboxylic acid amide and iron, plus, of course, a protonated nucleophile. And preferentially, it is deprotonated while well, it is kinetically favored because the deprotonation usually is a very fast reaction. And on the other hand, this an ion is mesomerically stabilized. You can draw mesomeric structures, for instance, also with a negative charge at the nitrogen. On the other hand, let's look for the reactivity of a carboxylic acid amide with electrophiles. The most simple electrophile we know is a proton. So protonating a carboxylic acid amide in equilibrium, we have three electron pairs at the oxygen and one free electron pair at the nitrogen. Actually, this nitrogen electron pair is not that free since it is conjugated to the carbonyl group. And therefore, indeed, the carboxylic acid amide is always protonated at the oxygen. Since this is, again, mesomerically stabilized with mesomeric structures, with also positive charge at the carbon or positive charge at the oxygen. 
And as you know, the truth, the structural truth is somewhere in between. Thank you for listening. See you next time with the next video again.